Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to Minecraft. In this episode we will uh, uh, find out how iron golems do spawn. So I did a lot of research together with, with Fanda but uh, this test was only done by me and I found out some very interesting and strange things with, uh, which I want to tell you and where you can maybe help me uh, with uh, finding out more research. So. Um, yeah, as you probably know, in the new snapshot in 1.2.3, it's uh, much di more difficult to farm iron golems. So, um, in this case, uh, what we have here is uh, I made these cells with MC Edit. Sorry for the lag. It's because there are you can see 1,400 en entities in here because there's uh, so many villagers and uh, so many iron golems here. So what I did, uh, okay, this wasn't the center. Uh, so here are, I um, don't know, in this case it should be like, yeah, there are 20 villagers in it exactly. And there are enough doors around, so there are um, 48 doors so that in case there are uh, some die, um, yeah, it will, uh, they will respawn, so it will be keep up with up to 18 villagers. So I should, could have also used 18, but since they uh, don't uh, there are no zombies or anything around they won't uh, die so there are always 20 villagers in here uh, maybe you can see but it's a bit difficult the entity now it counts only the villagers inside and yeah uh, there are now spawn iron golems around this uh, machine and they can spawn in a 70 by 17 area so I made it the water streams far wide so that it's exactly this size and it's six meters high and I use these water streams so and then we went, went into the code, so here you can see the spawned iron golems. Uh, I'm using a texture pack, so I hope <laughs> you don't mind, but you can still see. So there are um, ar around 40 iron golems in here right now, and I will tell you why. So I have let the, run, the game run for about 6 hours and a bit more. And yeah, so you can see it's an average of 9 iron golems, uh, also an iron golem every 9 minutes. And yeah, we went into the code and there it said it, there is a 1 through 7000 chance for the game um, to spawn an iron golem every tick, which means that it should give an iron golem every 6 minutes on average. But this is simply because when it tries to spawn an iron golem, it only tries to spawn it 10 times. So if in the 10 times we don't get a spot right um, on top of this area here, where it can actually spawn, you won't get it. So we can improve this uh, spawn rates here by 50% at least if you make uh, more area for the iron golem to spawn around. But it uh, can't be more because every 6 minutes is the limit. So yeah, and uh, what the interesting question is now, how you can can you stack, so uh, for some, some reason it's lagging pretty bad right now, I will s uh, re restart recording, sorry. Okay, I'll maybe switch down the graphics a bit. And then it should go. Okay, um, so yeah, the interesting question was how big has to be the spacing apart from each other and how can you stack these to um, um, to multiply the drop rates here. And so in this case I is separated them by more than 70 meters and it actually works. So you can see in every of these is roughly 40, villager, uh, 40 iron golems as it's random. It, there are some more and some less. So for example here are 41 and yeah it actually works but uh, this was just an extreme test to, to make it really uh, comparable and yeah it's so uh, yeah, that works but I also tested it to do to stack it vertically and it doesn't work at all so you can't build several villages at the same X and Z coordinates you can't stack villages on top of each other you have to space them horizontally it's not possible even if the one is at bedrock and the other one is at the sky limit it will count as one village so and the next interesting question was how sp um, yeah s uh, big has to be the um, have they uh, got to be apart? And this is now very strange and very interesting. So, if, for example, in these two cases, um, this one did only spawn one golem. I don't know how. This one only spawns 28. So uh, roughly a lot less. So that's that's no uh, not uh, not random anymore. There has to be something different. This one spawns 21, and the other ones didn't spawn at all. That simp and the other interesting thing is that in um, in this village there are now 73 villagers 
And in in this one too, I think. No, there are only 25 in here. And so some reason these these villages are definitely somehow connected and the point is if a village is connected the tr grain tries to spawn the iron golem right at the center of the village which simply means at the center of where the doors are so it sp tries to spawn them here for example and there is only air so it can't spawn any iron golem in this case here so this spacing is definitely too low although there get some strange results here it doesn't work and I'm not sure why these didn't spawn any golem at all. Maybe they are also connected, but uh, there are only 20 in here. Uh, I've no idea, but I, um, I increased the spacing by 5 meters at every part. And yeah, the last one here already got the normal, uh, in this case it's 35, so it's uh, just a random, it's a bit less, but it does work. And the spacing in here is 55 meters, uh, the centers are 55 meters apart, so the doors are roughly 50 meters apart. I will count it again here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, let's just look at the, uh, which coordinate is it? Uh, Z coordinate. So, two, minus 2,210. And this is minus uh, 2,265, so it's... Uh, 65. Okay, I'll have to calculate one moment. Okay, so this is 45 meters of spacing between the doors. So I actually still don't know the exact number, but uh, um, to be sure, I would recommend to make uh, the spacing between the doors at least, let's say, 50 meters. So 50 meters of air between the doors of the next two villages, because otherwise you will, uh, the villages will somehow interfere and mess everything up. So especially. Um, it seems like the villagers are repopulating in an uncontrollable way if they are too close, but at the same time the villagers itself are too far away. So these uh, already started, uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, for some route they are still repopulating for some reason. And because maybe um, the villagers ca um, count themselves uh, as belonging to two different villages, and that might be a reason why there are more villagers than doors, although there should be just one third of the doors uh, of villagers than doors. But uh, yeah, as I said, Dockham had the same problem. He had an incredible uh, spawn rate with the villagers and I don't know uh, how it works at all. But um, yeah, for example, this spacing here works and this uh, is even more, it's 70 meters as I said and um, I've s uh, shorted the render distance so you can't see much, but um, basically there are uh, 24 of these cells around here at the moment and they all, at least the ones in the loaded chunks, produced roughly um, 40 iron golems. I, s I think this one, uh, yeah, had, uh, 33, it's all around the same, so uh, this is uh, 40 iron golems, let me just calculate. Um, so. Um, yeah, this means that this uh, big setup here produces around uh, 800 iron uh, ingots at average per hour, or it's uh, roughly um, 160 iron golems per hour. And yeah, it, it, so it's, this is more than 10 stacks. So this is at least a uh, uh, still a decent speed, and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, you can do it with uh, some less villagers and actually it's normally doesn't lag if I'm not recording it's just too much uh, that many villagers and recording at the same time so maybe if you make it a bit smaller then it's uh, yeah even uh, doable without lag and of course uh, these cells are pretty easily to build and you don't have to build it in the air I just tested it and the reason why I dropped them here is because uh, then they are out of the village and uh, a new one can spawn. So I don't know the exact drop height, it's sev uh, something around 7 meters, but if you drop them a bit further, it should definitely work. And yeah, what you can do then is, uh, for example, build these water streams here, which will carry them towards the center. And although it's pretty slow, as they are also spawning very slow, it doesn't matter at all, as and they won't despawn ever. So uh, yeah, it should work fine and you cats can get at least 10 stacks per hour or this one produces even more. And yeah, you might think, okay, 10 stacks per hour is not that much, but actually one stack of iron blocks in an hour of gameplay is pretty much if you think that you're normally not uh, mining all the time. And yeah, if, I think if you 
Um, if you're just building something huge for 10 hours or something, you will get 10 stacks of iron blocks with this. And even if you make it l just a third of the size, you get s still three. So it's it's still possible to farm it, and it's uh, yeah, it's still f um, you will still get tons of iron if you do it right. And so the next thing I will do is yeah, uh, make a really complete, automate and cool farm out of it. And yeah, um, if you have any suggestions or can. Um, I uh, also have something uh, found out with the iron golems, which is uh, important for this. Uh, yeah, it would be cool if you let me notice. And yeah, so thank you f for watching and uh, see you next time.